Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a wear test on the serum foundation from The Ordinary. Okay, so I am working on an eyeshadow video using the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. This is the Ultimate Utopia Palette, in case you're curious as to what's on my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and spray with some of my Catrice spray to prep the skin. And then I'm going to go in on one side with some of my Hard Candy Primer Balm and do a little bit of that on the cheeks and the forehead and the chin. Take a little bit of that around my nose. We're just going to do it on one side because sometimes foundations look great with this, sometimes they don't. So we will see which side looks best. All right, well, that's while that's settling in a little bit, let's read this. This is the Ordinary Light Coverage Serum Foundation. Mine is in the shade 1.1 Fair Neutral. This says it is a serum textured natural cover, a serum, <laughs> a serum textured natural coverage foundation that softens undesirable use and visibly reduces imperfections. Shake before use. Dispense, dispense a small amount onto the palm or the back of your hand. Blend. Use only as direct. Okay, blah, 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 blah. All right, so I'm going to use my Sigma Multitasker brush and then probably pounce over with a sponge. So, again, oh, listen. All right. I do like, this is just random, I like how this pump is matte black. Oh, hello, liquid. Ah! Okay. Let's apply this to the face. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Look, I still have a ton right here. All right, let's go ahead and start blending that out. Now, on when you pump it out, I would say that that is a little yellow, peachy. But as I'm blending it out, it doesn't look too bad at all. Wow, and a little bit goes a long way. I don't even know how much I really pumped out, to tell you the truth. Now, this did say it's light coverage, so I'm not expecting for a full coverage foundation, obviously. Mm, yeah, that still looks a little yellow. All right, so I don't know about the neutral undertone, but gee, many Christmas. Okay, then I'm gonna take what's left, put a little bit onto my sponge, and just basically, go, whoa, go in and press all of this into the skin. First of all, it feels super lightweight. It doesn't hardly feel like there's anything on. It doesn't feel like there's anything on my face, to tell you the truth. This might be an excellent, like, everyday quick foundation to just give you natural coverage. Okay. So, first thing I am noticing is I like it more on this side without the um pour primer the hard candy smoothing balm primer i actually like it on the side without more it's almost like this isn't wanting to stick down where i put that and the redness on my cheek is peeking through a little bit more this side looks a little bit more full coverage looks great on my forehead yeah i would say that's my only complaint is i don't like how it looks right here so, the color, this fair neutral 1.1 is a little bit more yellow than neutral. See how, can I lock it? Okay, so you want to make sure that when you're done, you twist it so it locks so it doesn't accidentally pump out. And I thought this was brand new, but apparently it wasn't, so, oh well. But this was only like six something, 650 I think on Ulta, on Ulta's website. It's okay, so... Here's the face. Looks a little dry around the nose, but my nose is ridiculously dry. <laughs> Clinging a little bit to the chin, but nothing horrible. Looks really nice on my nose, honestly. 
Yeah, I think my only complaint is I like it on this side better than this side where I put the um, hard candy primer. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Right, so that's the majority of the face I still need to do brows and lips um, but let's take a look really quick I definitely think the only thing I don't like so far is right here where I put that primer it's not wanting to stick very well otherwise it's looking very nice looks great on my nose looks great on my forehead feels very lightweight I mean you can barely notice anything's there honestly so here is what my skin looks like get up nice and close a little crusty on the nose but nothing horrible definitely looks smoother on the cheek on this area but yeah I'm rather impressed so it is almost four o'clock so I don't know how long the wear test will go for <laughs> may be able to get you a six hour wear test on this um, but just off of first impression, I like it. I think it looks better just applied on its own without the pore filling primer. Definitely a liquidy consistency, light coverage. Um, I think it'd be really nice for every day because it does feel so light. Like this would be something I would wear when I was teaching to give me a nice, smooth, flawless base, but not feeling like I'm caked up for the day. So feeling like throughout the day, my face is melting off of me. It really honestly feels like nothing, which is great. So, so far here is the serum foundation from The Ordinary, and I will check back in with you later. Okay, so it's only like 6 o'clock, but just in case I don't get to do a final check-in, I wanted to give you my thoughts so far. So, it has worn off under my glasses, which is pretty standard for any foundation that I wear. And then it has come off quite a bit right here because I am blowing my nose. But here's what I like about this foundation. It is so natural that even though it's wearing off, like, okay, yeah, my, my chin looks a little dry. But that's because it is. But okay, like right here, it's kind of wore off right here where I'm blowing my nose. But the foundation is so natural and light that even though this is coming off, it doesn't look like I've swiped off all my makeup, if that makes sense. Like, the, the wearing off of the foundation doesn't ruin the overall look of my makeup. Like, my makeup still looks really nice on my forehead and my cheeks, and especially in between my eyebrows and my nose and stuff. Like, it's wearing pretty well on my nose, except for where my glasses were hitting. So, for that reason, I think I really like this foundation. Like I said, I think this is a great everyday foundation. Like, if I was teaching, this is definitely something that I could see myself wearing in the classroom because it is so light. Like, you barely, you don't even notice it on your face because it's just so light. Um, and I like the finish of it. And like I said, even though, minus my chin. Even though it is wearing off right here where I kind of blew my nose, 
again, it doesn't look like I've wiped off a full layer of makeup. It, it it's, it's faded very naturally. So for me, I think that this is definitely a plus. Um, if you already have other foundations, do you need this? No. If you want something very quick, light, and natural, if you can find your shade, I think this might be something to look into. Um, color formulations with mindlessness. Mindfulness. I thought I said mindlessness. I can't read. But yeah, um, I am going to, like I said, try to finish this out till 10. But just in case I don't, there are just some of the thoughts that I've been having so far.